Hey, Grace Point, Cody here. I'm so glad to be with you uh, over lunch. I just want to bring you a quick word of encouragement out of the book of Philippians today. It's a book that's near and dear to my heart, but also a book uh, that I've been going through uh, with um, some guys, and uh, it's just really been on my heart lately. And so as we're looking as a church at what it looks like to change the world, this passage came to mind. And before I read it, I just want to give you a little bit of context so that we know where we are in the book of Philippians right this second. So Philippians 1, uh, Paul is the author, uh, Paul and Timothy, writing to um, this small church uh, in Philippi. Uh, There's all kinds of external pressures uh, bearing down on them, bearing weight. Um, But Paul, uh, his encouragement is almost nothing to do with those external circumstances. In fact, the encouragement that he has to bring is all uh, an internal attitude change that then would help those external circumstances. And so, uh, who better to write this uh, but Paul, who is in chains as he writes, Uh, to the Philippian church longing to be with them but um, under house arrest. Uh, So um, as Paul is writing this uh, introduction uh, to them in chapter 1 he's thankful for them and prayerful for them in verses uh, 3 through 11. Uh, In verses 12 through 18, it's titled The Advance of the Gospel. And what we find there is that despite all odds, the gospel is being advanced. You know, when we think of of Paul, uh, we would say he's a great communicator, a great preacher, uh, and just knows a lot. What's the best possible position we can put him in? And so by our standards, we'd want to put Paul in a stadium packed with people so that they could all hear this wise man preach. But Paul says, that might not actually be the best place for me. The best place for me is right where God has placed me on purpose for a purpose. And that is in chains. And as he is uh, in chains, he gets to um, uh, evangelize and, and spread the gospel uh, where he is with those uh, prison guards that are guarding him. And he also says that the gospel is advanced because they see him and they say, well, we're not in chains, so certainly we should be sharing the gospel as well. So just a quick uh, break there for 12 through 18, um, the advance of the gospel. That's what Paul is saying there. And then we get this famous passage in verses 19 through 26, and uh, he, where he says, To live is Christ and to die is gain. If I am to live in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. Yet which I choose, I cannot tell. I am hard pressed between the two. My desire is to depart and to be with Christ, for that is far better. But to remain in the flesh is necessary for your account. And so Paul recognizes the position that he's in, and there's a longing to go and be with Christ, but an understanding that he is placed where he's placed to change the world around him and uh, to serve the Philippian church. And so that brings us uh, from 
a context perspective, that brings us to the the verse verses that I wanted to bring to you today. And those are verses 27 through 30. It says this, Only let your manner of life be worthy of the gospel, so that whether I come and see you or am absent, I may hear that you are standing firm in one spirit, with one mind, striving side by side for the faith of the gospel. And so here we see Paul just imploring the Philippian people uh, to come together with one mind and strive to make the gospel known. In 28, he goes on, And not frightened in anything by your opponents, this is a clear sign to them of their destruction, but of your salvation, and that from God. For it, for it has been granted to you uh, that for the sake of Christ you should not only believe in him but also suffer for his sake engaged in the same conflict that you saw I had and now here that I still have and so right there uh, Paul brings it in into a complete thought and he says just in the way that the gospel is being advanced in my chains in my suffering in my circumstances the true the the same might be true for you and are you ready for it but listen uh, to the hope that Paul still has that the world is truly being changed as they, as they strive with one mind, side by side, for the faith of the gospel. And they're not frightened by any of their opponents because uh, the gospel and their not being frightened is a clear sign to those who oppose them of their destruction, but it's also a clear sign of the Philippians salvation and that's from God and as they live their life uh, in that uh, example uh, for Christ's sake for the sake of Christ um, they continue to believe in him and even believe in him to the point of suffering and they're engaged, I love that word, engaged in the same conflict. And so it makes it clear that these people are on the move, that these people are in the field. This tiny little church in Philippi is seemingly against the world. Uh, and they're doing their best, striving together side by side to change the world wherever they go. And certainly we can see uh, parallels between the Philippian uh, church and us today. Uh, though we're not a super small church, uh, we're still a, a good sized church. But in comparison to the Coastal Bend, there's a lot, a lot of work that still needs to be done. And so as you go out and, and um, advance the gospel wherever God has placed you, uh, just be prepared um, for uh, the suffering that sometimes comes along with that. Uh, but also remember that we're standing side by side with you in, in encouragement and equipping you uh, to go out and do that work wherever God has placed you. So go out, church, and uh, change the world. We're praying for you and we're right beside you uh, all the way. Thanks for letting me bring a quick word to you. See ya. In the morning I say you You have a perfect record You never fail, you never change Good to me Keep on getting back Keep on getting back You keep on getting back just when I thought you ran out of things to do, you keep on getting back. Just when I thought you ran out of ways to move, you keep on getting back. Oh, morning by morning, new mercies I 